Hello everybody and welcome back to the Modlock. We are jumping in again as the last character we have to play as, good old Bertrand. We do have two times Eden's Blessing jumping in as this guy from our Arachna run. I am willing to bet that regardless, this will be the character we die as on the first episode. He is very difficult, mainly because he has almost no damage. But, anyways, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. So we started with one item that I despise. We started with a little portal. Uh, also, we got Book of Virtues here, which is great. I would very much like to grab, um, to be honest, all of these, but I'd very much like to grab Satanic Bibles, and hopefully we get a key. But, little portal is going to be absolutely heinous. I hate little portal with a passion. It's very, very annoying. It's going to end up eating health, keys, and all sorts of good other manners of good stuff. I despise it. I think it's terrible. Anyways, for Bertrand... Oh, that is a very good active, actually. In fact, I think I'd rather keep this than get any of the other books available. This is half a half a black art every four rooms, but it, re it either gives us or re-rolls our curse, which to me is, is actually pretty good. We also have Common Cold here, which is pretty nice. I like that. Let's just carry on and see how it goes. But yeah, I'm sure Little Portal will eat all manner of annoying things and do many things that I hate. But we got a really good active here that I'm actually more happy with than anything else so but yeah as you can see this guy he slings his head around we can build up this meter here to get pips that are just below the meter those pips will give us the ability to get damage ups if we fill them you get an increase of one pip every floor that you need to fill so it's not exactly easy to uh to fill them all uh but so far so good our damage is not terrible little portal does do some damage which is nice but overall not gonna be great we take Roid Rage, Speed and Rage. Honestly, Speed as this guy is fantastic. Also, our guy is looking kind of crazy. Anyways, we'll hop down to the next floor. And yeah, we'll just see how this goes. We didn't get a key anyway, so I don't really care about the other books. Uh, we got Book of Virtues, which unfortunately doesn't have a unique wisp with this active. But this active is really good. Really, really good. I didn't expect it to have a, un a unique wisp. So I'm not super bummed out about that. But... Well, yeah, we'll just, we just kind of got to see. We just kind of got to see. For our question of the day today, let's hop into my Discord and take a little check at the suggestions. Please go and leave any if you have any. Um, let's take a little look at one here, shall we? Let's take a little look at one. Uh, what is your favorite band? That's a really that's a really good one that I've never asked. There's many out there, many bands out there that I could see being favorites. For me, I don't know. Mine's mine changes very regular uh, very regularly. Actually, BD1P just put out a stream where he basically reviewed people's Spotify playlists, and I got him to review mine, and he was a bit confused by mine because mine is all over the place. I have a lot of songs from a lot of different artists. I don't really know what my favourite band is. I really do like Ninja Sex Party, but not particularly for their original uh, comedy songs, although I do love them, um, a lot of them. It's more for their cover songs. They cover a lot of 80s songs that I really like. Also, Starlight Brigade is one of my favourite songs of all time. It's so good. So that's definitely up there. But I think um, your favourite artist or your favourite band can really change depending on a lot of factors. Like, even just where you are in life at the time, like... Having some, having a band that has music or songs or feelings that you can really relate to can sometimes be a very big part of it. So it really does depend. Um, but I gotta say, Ninja Sex Party is one that I always come back to. Um, ooh, I do need to quickly just do one thing here. Settings. Um, aim assist needs to go up one. And... Extra hurt sound needs to go up as well. There you go. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, that was one thing I noticed about this guy. He, you can't really hear when he gets hit, which is really frustrating for me. So adding that back in is, is very necessary for myself. But yeah, having a regenerable, a regeneratable way of getting HP here is, is amazing for me right now. And so far, our damage isn't letting us down too much. Damage with this guy is normally my big issue. And right now, we're not really having that issue, which is really nice to see. Also, I think the poison is, is helping out a good amount, too. It's not like a crazy amount, but it's just like a little added extra on top of this guy. Also, I managed to hit him with that, which I wasn't expecting. Got him with both of them. Booyah, baby. We get some range, which is actually pretty good. And we got a dev an angel deal, which I'm surprised by. Oh, Book of Virtues. Oh, my lord. <laughs> These are two fantastic things. I think we have to take Sacred Heart just because... 
it gives you so much damage. Um, which is this guy we need. I don't know if homing actually does much for this guy. But the damage itself is great. I don't know if having um, Godhead Aura would have done much. Neither had special synergies. With this character, certain items have special synergies where they have like a little aura around them to tell you they're going to synergize. So neither had that. So I don't know. I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I've just been kind of going through my Spotify players and looking. And yeah, mine is an absolute mismatch of random stuff. People will be surprised by mine, I think. But I do think Sacred Heart is a pretty good grab for us. We can do swing to win if we want here. Don't want to do that lots though. So far, little portal's not screwed me over too much, which I'm very, very uh, happy about. Can I not sling? Oh, I don't have enough power to sling yet. I was like, why can't I sling? There you go. I want to get as many pips as we can to get those damage ups, of course. He ate a pill there, so he did rank up a little bit. But having plus that damage, uh, mul it's not even just the damage, it's a multiplier. So very, very good. We get Bob's Bladder here, which isn't great, but it's decent. Obviously, we are going to be taking on a lot of curses throughout the course of this run, but I don't think that's a huge issue. Um, I will grab this. Acer Diamonds is not bad at all. Being able to clear out one full room to me is really good, but this is a good start to a bear tram run. A lot better than I was expecting, especially with Book of Virtues into Sacred Heart. That that kind of turns me on. That's like, that's the sort of shit we dream of with Bertrand. Beautiful, with Pips are filled, and Eternal Heart. That's a dream as well. Mum's wig does have a special synergy. Very nice. It's got the sparklies. Oh my god, look at ourselves. Spider hatching, it said. That's all it said. But we are looking kawaii, as you would call it. So, uh, I'm into it. Okay, that's a, that's a good amount of spiders we're producing. I'm behind it. I'm into it. I wasn't expecting that. Also, our head flings spawning sacred heart shots. Really, really nice. I think this is the version that just spawns, um, just spawns enemies. We did get a devil deal here, which I find very peculiar, considering we have Book of Virtues. I'm not going to take it. I'm honestly um, surprised that showed up, but we got a 9% chance for one, so... It can happen. It's just unfortunate. But yeah, I'm not taking a devil deal. We're already into the angel deals. <laughs> I'm loving how our character looks right now. Oh, one bomb and would open up the keys to the kingdom for us right there. I always hate this room. I always feel really unsafe pressing the buttons. But it's not too bad. A, a look upgrade there is really nice too. But you can actually upgrade your uh, slam attack by hitting poops and stuff. So, uh, maybe not poops, but fires apparently. So we ought to do that when we can. Beautiful. I have disabled the mod I had on last episode. The one that was uh, causing us to have some reworked enemies and stuff. While it's a great mod, it was a little buggy with some of the other things I had on. And also not intended for this series. So it is what it is. We get our shop here, which gives us keep a sack, which is fantastic. Um, and we need to find an opportune moment to use uh, Ace of Diamonds. I want to find a big room that has a lot of enemies in it, ideally. Um, or just like a lot of flies. I don't know. There's, there's quite a few different scenarios in which I'd want to use it. This, that's close. Damn it. I used my head slam as well. I'm probably not going to get my pips filled on this episode. Getting your pips filled, kind of, it sounds somewhat sexual. Oof. I've basically perpetu been perpetually on this exact same health value the entire run. Also, our spiders plus our damage is a really good combo too. Okay, slam that boy. Yeah, we'll be perpetually on the same health value like the entire run. It's kind of funny. Let's go. Extra bombs there. So we can go for golden bombs here, and we probably should to try and find secret rooms and stuff. But I'm honestly kind of in a rush to get to boss rush, if I can manage it. This We are doing a lot of damage for this guy. Normally, this guy really struggles with damage. But now we're doing not so bad. And yet again, I take some damage there. Okay, let's let's grab the golden bomb first and then come back for that. No, thank you. Good. Okay. Do you want a little portal? Do you want to grab that? Get get you a little bigger. Why not? I'm not going to use it. There's a tinted rock back there as well. Didn't see that. Very nice. 
Okay, that's some good stuff, I'll be I'll be honest. That's some good stuff. Thank God we had golden bombs for two sticky nickels. Bloody hell, two sticky nickels. And we get golden keys as well. Beautiful. Soy milk. It has a it has an interaction, and I feel like I should check what it is. One second. Okay, unfortunately I cannot find out specifically what it does, and it's an item that I feel could ruin everything. So I'm sorry, but no zane today. <laughs> as much as it's sad to say, we have such a good run on our hands right now that I feel like it would be it would be a bad idea. By the way, what was in the shop? Was it just keep a sack? It was, okay. Okay, keep going. I realize, yeah, bit of a bit of a sad time, but I feel like I have to I have to take this seriously. Also, charge penny is fantastic here for us. That was a beautiful bomb there. As was that one. Awesome. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. We aren't going to get our pips, which is a little sad, but we'll go down to the next floor. Feeling pretty happy about ourselves. Having ignored, ignored soy milk, regardless of it being a synergy. It's one that I can't imagine will do as much good, to be honest. There's one pip for this floor. Good, good. Beautiful. Oh, another soul heart. So health is looking really good too, which is normally another massive issue I have with this character. So things are going alarmingly well for us right now. Also, give us charges. Damn. Ace of Diamonds is going to be pretty good for charges as well, hopefully giving us some extra black hearts along the way. So step our way down here. We'll check this out. Yes. Unfortunately, not the best result ever. We did get hit there as well. And again. As you can tell, it's really hard to actually hear when you've been hit. Did that little fucker just eat both my soul hearts? I told you this guy was going to be a problem, didn't I? I told you. He ate both, not not one, but two of those soul hearts. He's the worst. Little portal should be a double tap to fire sort of deal. I don't know why he isn't. It's bizarre that he isn't. I mean, not that I needed the health really badly or anything, but it's still really annoying. <laughs> we also got Curse of Rebirth in the minutes that enemies are going to be revived, which is not a bad thing for us because it means more charges on our slam attack, which I like. Which, I said that and immediately got rid of it. I think Little Portal does do a good amount of damage when he's uh, this big, which is good. Uh, this was probably a good room to use our um, our Ace of Diamonds on, but we've, we've we've passed that point now. Don't like these dudes. These guys, guys are really hard to hit. Excuse me. Oh my god. The targeting. Even with aim assist on full, I'm having a real hard time targeting these fellas. What we got this time? We got dead bird, we've got the fat bird and the dead bird. The two birds are out. I'm surprised they don't have like a little mini synergy between each other. The shop, damn it, I was really hoping to purchase stuff here. Steam sale? Ugh. That's good, but like not what we need right now. We need to be able to purchase things. To get more stats. Okay. Into the boss we go. That's not going to give us any pips, but... The damage is good still. It still is falling off a little. I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure that by womb we'll feel like we need a little bit more damage. But right now it's not bad. Always annoys me in this situation here. You know, that dude's doing such good work. Definitely take you. I don't really know what tier 8 does for this guy, but still. And I'll definitely take Harmonic Convergence here. Again, have absolutely no idea how it works. It's it's pretty interesting, actually. It, it doesn't work poorly at all. I think with soy milk, it's pretty good. Having a really hard time not getting hit by this guy. In fact, with soy milk, it's hitting a remarkable amount, actually. Well, we got fire mine for a minute there. Is that because we hit a fire? And we get a key just in case we want to do Mega Sane. I'm not saying that we will, but we might. <laughs> it's a possibility. It's in the cards. Okay, let's check out this room and maybe use Ace. Nah, can't use it in here. But yeah, harmonic convergence basically pulls in tears from all angles of the screen whenever you um, whenever you fire. It's a pretty good combination with this guy actually, especially with Herming. Check in here. I don't know. Maybe want to play this guy out. 
I'll see, I'll see. I'll come back to you. Uh, will I? Maybe. I'm... I might play... Like, let's, let's check out the shop and then I might play you. The shop might uh, make me spend a lot of my money here, so I'm not going to say I will play you yet. Or spend my money yet, is what I should be saying. Also, it seems that when we do our slam attack, more of the convergence moves in on us, which I like. I literally... I, I, I use the item, spawn a heart, and immediately end up getting rid of it. Right. That's a fantastic item. My goodness. With this damage as well. Damn you. Not filled my pips up either. So here's our shop. Yeah, Infestation 2 is fantastic for us here. Okay, so buy this. Buy this. Buy this. Buy this. I just want the stats. I don't care about anything else. I just want the stats, baby. Don't care about nothing else. All the spiders are going to do my bidding. Honestly, this is a pretty darn good run. A lot better than I was expecting with this guy. I was expecting some real shit to your stuff, I'll be honest. Ow. Oh, those, those things are still active. Did not realize that. We got our mapping back good. We can still do boss rush if we make our way back. We are on depth two already. We haven't found our item room yet. No, we have. We have. Okay. Okay. So I want to play the battery beggar first because I think anything that gives us more charges is going to be ve very beneficial. So let's play him first. I, I, these guys, I was just about to say, rarely pay out for me, but this time they did. Jacob's Ladder? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting Jacob's Ladder. And Little Chest is also fantastic. Okay, that was stellar. That was fantastic profit. Jacob's Ladder, I don't know if it has any specific synergy with this guy, but it's gonna be good, regardless. And I think we can safely say that Boss Rush is definitely on the cards for us today. I think we should very much go ahead and do that. Um, we'll keep about Ace of Diamonds on us, why not? Yeah, I can hear the electricity popping off, so that's really good. And that's going to scale with our damage, too. We will take this one here, Polaroid, and we'll hop in here and see what we end up getting. Okay, unfortunately, we don't know what we're getting. Um... Wow Factor is not bad at all, because it, it, it has homing. Normally, I don't like Wow Factor because it's laggy, but because we're not playing on a laggy save file with other mods, it's going to tend to be a little better than normal. And it also seems to be causing an alarming amount of, of electricity, which I like. I just I keep getting hit quite a lot, but that, let's, let's, let's not pay attention to that. But yeah, Wild Factor are basically going to shoot out a bunch of shots every now and again. And as you can see, they are causing an insane amount of electricity. I don't know if it's worth trying to land on a good curse for ourselves or just keep rolling to get health. I think it's more worth it to keep rolling to get health, to be honest. Yeah, that's pretty brilliant. Honestly, yeah, I think Wow Factor is the way to go. I keep getting hit and you just can't hear it. I don't know what it is about this character. I don't know what's going on, but you just cannot hear at all when you get hit. It's just, it's impossible to hear. Honestly, this is insane. The damage we have right now. Oh, also, we have to be incredibly careful to not step on our little portal here. Because that's going to, that, that would teleport us out of the fight, I'm pretty sure. We have to be very careful to not accidentally step on that. In fact, just playing near it is scaring me. There's more trinkets in here because of our little chest, which is kind of good. Also, it's spawning the convergences. This is some interesting synergistic benefit we're getting here. Some real cool synergies going on, which are helping us a lot. Basically, I want to just keep hitting. In fact, maybe doing this is more... Nah, I thought swinging my head would work better, but I actually have to tap fire for it to work. The amount of Jacob's Ladder and Convergences it ends up spawning is nothing short of a miracle. Oh, look at that. Instantly killed everything. 
That is such a cool little synergy we've got going on there. I love it. The, without Herming and without Jacob's Ladder, this item's kind of shit. I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't like this item very much at all. But with those items, it pops off. Because it actually Herms on enemies. Look how quickly we did that. Look how quickly we did that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. It's another Mark done. I was not expecting to have a good run with Bertrand. I gotta say. I was not expecting to have a good run with this lad. I thought it was going to be terrible. I genuinely thought there was a good chance that we die on this run here and now. But instead, we get this banger supreme run, which is actually turning out to be our best run thus far. And we have, like, regeneratable health off the bat too, which is fantastic. I really like that. And away we go. Extra charges. I need to be p picking up pennies just to get extra charges, really, don't I? Also, Hush is good for us because we're going to get to do um, more purchasing, which is going to give us more stats. Because we're at 14.29 damage now. That's very high. For the spiders and stuff that we're spawning, that's really good. Did you get... What the hell? He got the curse. The Brimstone's curse on him there. I really don't know how, but he did. I really don't need to be filling up my pips right now. Solar Lilith is great. Fruity Plum, bring him on board, my dudes. Bring him on board. What a fantastic little creature to get. I wish I'd have taken the Sun Bonds now, but I thought the Space Bar item would be more bet, more useful. Look at that damage. Look at this damage. Wow Factor ended up being so clutch, it's insane. Ice Contrition, why not? Grab that, down to the next floor. Beautiful. And even if I if I get like a really bad curse on this floor, I can just re-roll it. Or right now I can just not use it whatsoever to not get a curse. I want to be speeding speeding along here really as much as I can. Not that I need to, we've got plenty of time, but still. Speeding along at the speed of sound. Love this. Actually a good best run run. Who'd have thought it? First run is best run. Betty, my boy, he's climbing. He's doing well. Whoa, that Viz, that single Viz just annihilated you. Um, and then we get Holy Light. Yes, please. With two luck as well, that's pretty decent. Let's move right along. Let's see what we end up getting on the Hush fight. Didn't expect us to be doing Hush. Did not. At all. No items here, but another luck upgrade is fantastic. Tiny planet. Ooh. That seems like it's a recipe for disaster. I'm staying away from anything that could ruin what we already have here. And unfortunately, both are items of zero quality. Very nice. Um, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. We got some sort of synergy there. Oh, we got the mom transformation, I think. Wheel of Fortune is whatever. Got a soul heart out of it. It's good to know that's there for later. Uh, Magician, we'll, we'll bring that in and pop it. Oh, we already have Herman. What am I doing? What, what was the, even the point in that? What was even the point? I love the fact that we have a Viz in here with us. Pop that. We are going to get hit a lot. As long as I don't die, I don't care, really. Because I think that we have enough damage to get through every other floor. The problem being, obviously, as you can tell, we have to stand very, very close. Although getting hit did spawn our little fat boy, which is good. There's a lot of holy light shots too. The damage that we're putting out is pretty insane. Basically, I just gotta wait until I get my um my big my big chuck shot out there, because that's gonna spawn all the tiers that do all the damage. Once we get that out there, didn't go the right way. Also spawned a lot of infestation two spiders there out of something. I think it killed I think I killed a bunch of the stuff. Oh, he's still attackable in this while he's underground. Good to know. Oh my lord. He tries spawning things and we're just like, no. No, senorita. I do not think so. Okay, this sort of attack is something we don't like to see. Okay. Again, this sort of attack. I can't even tell if I'm being hit right now. I can't even tell what tiers are mine and what are his. 
I'll be completely honest. I have no idea. Got hit there. We're onto red health. Not good. But he is just about dead. Make sure to go back in here and grab our soul heart. There's another soul heart there. Makes me feel good. Right, back in here. Grab our soul heart. Grab our ace of diamonds for more charges if we need them. And up we go. Wow. This is a very speedy run that is going very successfully. It's kind of alarming. <laughs> what is it that's giving things Brimstone Curse? Oh, I've got the um, the little belch attack. I need to see that. If that happens in a basic room, damn, it just annihilates. Yeah, if the wow factor triggers in a basic room, it just kills everything. It's so funny how, like, items like that, like, you think, oh, mods are so overpowered, they add this crazy stuff in. But honestly, that's not the case. This item is normally kind of trash. It's an item I normally really dislike. And just it just so happens that the combination of items we currently have are making it obscene. Like, absolutely obscene. Like, as soon as it triggers, everything just dies. It's fantastic. You're all dead. What the hell? It's golden, but it's not. 100% chance to add an extra blind item. 100% chance to... Ah. Big sad. Doesn't do anything for us. It was golden, but it was not to be. Like, I wonder how much this is going to do to him. Is he going to take him to second phase? It, it almost killed him. One attack of that almost killed him. We're getting a thermal heart there. I'll gladly take that. And we come on to here where we're definitely going to beat Mega Satan. We're definitely going to beat Blue Baby. I might even do Delirium if I can handle it. If I even get the choice. Great item there. I don't think Dunce Cap will be very good for us, so I'm not going to bother grabbing that. I realize I'm missing out on potential synergies that I could be grabbing here. But honestly, let's not take anything that could shake, shake the boat. We have such an amazing, insane synergy right now. We really don't want to do anything that could possibly hinder that. We also don't want to keep taking damage. That, that, that somewhat hinders what we're doing. But I keep doing it. Oh, look at that. Oh, the holy light beams. The angel deals from Book of Virtues has been so clutch. That item has really been a star of this show today. Do not like you. Now this, yeah, this is the sort of annihilation we look for. Build a spider army, kill everything. Love it. Take out you. The blue baby is here, and he is ready to go down. The spiders do our job for us. We did not get void portal here. So we're going to have to go do Mega Satan and hope for a Void Portal there. Honestly, let's do some of the other rooms, because why not? We might get some extra stuff that we like to see. Stars doesn't really click with us. Good, good. Another Fruity Plum. I will take it. <laughs> two of those fellas, two of those fat little chubbers by my side. Hell yes. Cancer. Okay, this is this is literally the death warrant of Mega Satan. We just got cancer. That literally doubles the amount of HP we currently have. Keep going, because why not? We get some extra things here and there. Another soul heart there, lovely. God damn, that is beautiful. I really hope we get a delirium portal. Because with cancer, his death warrant is signed already. We, we probably won't. I'm going to bet that we weren't, but... Marked. Don't want anything that could shake the boat, as I said. There's a lot of items here that could be potentially really cool. 
But this is so, so good. Right. Mega Satan, please give me, please give me Delirium Portal. It would be so nice of you. I love the fact that, like, even the enemy, like, the enemies I don't strike get annihilated. Okay, you're not going to Brimstone yet. I thought you were rearing up to Brimstone. Okay, these guys get taken out pretty quick, too. Just keep firing regardless. We're spawning tears on screen, that's all we care about, really. That's what does the real damage. Beautiful. Oh, hello. I always forget that you can do that sometimes. Ooh, that was a good hit. But Cancer is activated now. You're pretty much burned. Oh, we only killed one angel there. For some reason, I thought we got both. Ow, that's another hit. And away you go, Mr. Mega. Okay, down into phase two. <clears throat> and up you get. <laughs> oh, that's an in initial big wave. This is problematic. We're going to have a really hard time hitting him. In fact, I'm having a really hard time hitting him here. We're going to get hit a lot, but we have the health to sustain it. I'm just going to have to power through, unfortunately. Because there's just basically no way I can actually avoid these attacks. You have to be so close to hit him. I just got to hope I don't get hit. Okay, there you go. Please give us Void Portal, but if you don't, I'll still be happy. We didn't get it. Unfortunate, but there you go. Another smashing run. And that is a run with every character without dying, which I'm very proud of. I know that sounds like a very small goal, but... I'm happy with it. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.